we never gonna fix this thing, are we? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Do I have a good Holiday Cup team for you or what? So this, I had to share this team. Dr. Green Mustache been nagging me with this team for like a week. I tried it a few times and it didn't work for me. And finally, I had enough practice with this and I understood how this team works and I finally can't lose with it. So I wanted to share this team with you guys. And so far, everybody who have tried this team, guys, had amazing success with. So here I am sharing my good luck charms with you. Oh, where are my matters? Here's the three Pokemon right here. Go, guys. All right, so those are the three Pokemon that we have. So on lead, we have a charm, Ninetales, with of course, it's Weather Ball. And of course, it's, well, we actually have to use Saishuk in this league. So we have Saishuk on it. And then we have a say swap. We, it depends, honestly, because I use both Cradili and I also use uh, Jellis and Mr. Potato had as a say swap, but, but it really depends what's the lead. And I will talk about it more once I get into the matches. But let's go with Jellis and first. So Jellis and is great. It's also a pretty good counter against Talonflame. Uh, I have Bubble on it and the double hit moves. So no Bubble Beam, just Bubble Fast Move, uh, Ice Beam and of course Shadow Ball. And then Cradili, uh, we have the quick fast move that everybody must have on it. I mean, it's given, there's no, nothing else you need to use. And Cradili is so good against Talonflame. All the Flyers and of course, because Talonflame is everywhere by the way. And of course, against the Electric slash Water type Pokemon. Cradili is like the meta breaker. I really enjoy playing with this Pokemon and I really enjoyed it. And the move sets are given, guys. You're just gonna have to have that. Uh, it, and by the way, even though we don't resist Scanner, uh, we resist because there's so many Vigorats and Vigorats gonna face Cradili so many times. So you just go straight grass move and basically you just don't shield anything because you resist everything that that figure are gonna throw you besides the counter. So guys, let's talk about how to play with this game once we get into the matches. So we should probably head inside to the arena and let's get started. Let's go. All right, guys. So I hope you're excited for this team because this team is so freaking good. I believe I gained like 100 or 150 ELO with this once I figured out how to play it. And we were slapping legends left and right a bit. It. I really enjoy playing with it. And right off the bat, perfect match because we lose lead. So what I normally do here is try to quetch uh, on this and it's a hex. It's a hex AVEX. So this is a problem for us honestly Because I just realized that so it generates energy super quick. It definitely has already double shadow bomb So I kind of messed this one up because because I should have went into Cradili just because it does not have the fire move but uh, Either way that wouldn't be a problem because we're just fire anyways So I should have swapped into Cradili. So I kind of messed that one up But I want to show you we can still recover from that so right here, right now, we double shield it, even though I don't recommend you guys doing that because it's done two shields. But the good news is, it's we actually, I believe, leave a Shadow Ball here because it doesn't have Shadow Ball. Yeah, beautiful. And we can throw that Shadow Ball. And that, that is amazing because we get rid of probably both shields at this point. I think he's going to double shield. No, he didn't. Even better for us. So now we, got, uh, now we can align perfectly with this team. So now, ooh, low battery. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So good thing my suit actually charges the phone virus. I just had to push this button. All right, now we are charging. So we are good. But uh, yeah, so look at Cradili. Man, I, I love this Pokemon. So a, a Bulldoze is the only thing that can hit us a little bit and it doesn't even do anything. And then now he has a Flya in the back, which is awesome for us because we, all we need to do is a Weather Ball. And then I think we can even farm it down. I really don't think he can get to anything at this point. Beautiful, beautiful. And now he comes to him and figure out to throw a Weather Ball. And this is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Even though we lost the lead, ladies and gentlemen, we still end up winning this match. So all we need to do, honestly, here is just to get him to low enough. And he's not gonna throw. Oh, if we... The reason why he's not throwing because he knows we have a move on that Cordelia. So that's why he didn't throw. And that's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Because it would have it would have been a CMP time. Either way, whatever he throws at the Cordelia, it wouldn't KO. So. He needed two moves, right? He would have needed double body slam, I believe, or an earthquake and a few counters. So he had no choice but to farm down, right? All the way. He, he could not throw on our nine tails because if he does, we would have just swapped out instantly and throw and then we win, right? So I guess that's why I did that. Okay, so here, uh, this is really good. He swapped in uh, A9 and I mean A9. We stay in with our A9 and he swapped in with his, uh, uh, what do you call it? I forgot, Frostless. And Frostless is not really good for our team. It's almost like a, a, a what you call it, an AWAC all over again. But what we're doing here is we shield one, and there's no way he can get to a Shadow Ball here. This is this has to be an Avalanche, right? Or did he get to a Shadow Ball? Ah, crap, he did. But that's all right, we live that. 
we are actually pretty tanky. I mean, even, so we win the one shield against uh, in with energy adventure against the frostless, which is pretty freaking amazing, guys. Uh, honestly, with nine tails, and I have a horrible Ivy nine tails. Just so you know. So if you have like a really good nine tails then oh my god it would have been even better you would have more hp to spare you you would be able to chunk that down even more so now we come in with our cordelia which absolutely shuts down that stun fist like absolutely uh what wait did he just hop out did i miss that i think he did so now he comes in oh this is beautiful oh my god look at that damage look at that damage and i'll be throwing again we should be able to get rid of the lost shield here i believe uh there's no way he's not shielding this yeah okay now and now, ah, uh, I mean, <sighs> I don't know if I'm doing the right thing here. I think I should have, I, I think I tried to catch and we'll lift that, but now we're going to swap out. And uh, if he's throwing a shadow ball here, that's going to KO us. Uh, but that doesn't matter because we should be able to farm. If it's a shadow ball, it's better for us because we can actually farm. It's a seed bomb. Damn it, that's worse for us. Oh, but he can't farm us down. He has to throw double. Thank God, man. But either way, we would have been able to farm down if it was a Shadow Ball because he would not get to a Seed Bomb. And now he's definitely not going to get to a Seed Bomb or a Shadow Ball. So we can farm it down. He swapped out to the Stun Fist. And this is a winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. Also, guys, sorry that I'm not streaming the rest of the week that I streamed for 2021. We will return in 2022. I'm out of town, running away from Pokemon or I'm out seeking the best Pokemon for you to showcase. So make sure you come back in 2022 or in tomorrow and every day and hit that sub button and notification bell on so you won't miss out on the strongest Pokemon ever on this channel. Right here. Thank you. And smash that like button. <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate all the support. I had an amazing year. Thanks to you. I'm very thankful for you guys. Um, okay, so this is good. Uh, luckily there are so many Stunfisk and this team absolutely was a Stunfisk. You just don't want to face it with Jellicent, of course, because Jellicent almost gets one shot it by the freaking Stunfisk. Okay, Lapras came in, that's kind of a nice quetch by the opponent. Uh, unfortunately, this is not good for us. Um, so, but, I mean, it's good in a way that we're gonna stop out and come in with our, uh, what's your call it? Mr. Potato Head, but, and we can tank anything. And I kind of chickened out here. I was like, all right, I'm gonna shield an Ice Beam here because the Shadow Lapras, it'll probably hit me a lot, but I didn't need to do that. It's, you don't shield it, guys, please, okay? I'm making a mistake. I hope you learn from my mistakes. So, yeah, I thought I was like, all right, I think uh, uh, the Shadow Ice Beam will probably do a lot, so I'm gonna shield one here. And nope, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. It was just a Surf, and the Surf does absolutely nothing to us. So now we throw the second Shadow Ball. Is he gonna double shield here? Let's see. Nope, okay. And now, he, oh, he swaps out. Stun Fizz back in. All right, that's fine. So, I, yeah, I think it's gonna one shot us from here to discharge, right? Yeah, easy, dude. It, I think it does like three quarters of its health when it's full. Um, okay, so now we come back in with Cordelia, which is amazing for us because we absolutely wall that. Um, do, what does he have in the? Does he have? Does does he have a Talon Flame in the back? Why? Do we know what he has in the back? Am I missing out? I almost feel like. Oh well. Anyways, just I, I'm enjoying this. He just keeps slapping me, dude. Uh, uh, he is hitting me. Dude, my nipple is getting hard from those mud bums. It's just slapping on my chest. <sighs> man, sorry for that weird picture that you just had to see. But uh, hopefully you can unsee it one day. It's a Lapras. Oh, the... Wait, so we... Did we see his third Pokemon yet? I'm so confused right now. Did I mess this up? Oh, we did... It's a Drifflam. I knew it had to be a flyer because he was trying to stay away. Oh, what a quetch of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Take notes. I, I realized that because I was like... Why the hell? What is he keeping so far away from Cordelia? And that's what. Okay, now it makes sense. It makes perfect sense. But I think I've, we messed this one up, guys. Uh, I don't think we can win this. I think I should have shielded that. Because we get, we're not going to be able to... Are we going to get to another Stone Edge? Oh yeah, we are. We are. Oh my god, this was calculated. This was a calculated risk, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get to another Stone Edge. Ooh, boy, oh boy. This is awesome. Cradilly for the win, anti-flyer. Even though it looks like a flower, it is not, it's stone. <laughs> I love these Pokemon. If, if people don't know the Pokemon because they knew, although everybody knows at this point, but they always like, oh, look at this, it's a flyer. I'm gonna bring in my flyer against it or fire and we actually resist both. So it's pretty awesome. <laughs> I really like this Pokemon. All right, so far, so good, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think about the team? Let me know in the comments. Also, do you have any PvP goals for next season? I mean, next, well, I guess next season too, but for next year. And how can I help you accomplish your PvP goals? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to help for you. All right, 
So um, this is really good for us. Oh, and guys, if you're a new subscriber, we're so close to 10,000. Don't forget, we're creating uh, a Pokemon card with basically uh, uh, an artsy picture of me. And we're gonna uh, chop this up into pieces. And we're gonna put in, just like the basketball cards that has like a piece of the jersey, we're gonna put in a piece of the, uh, the cape into the, actually we're working on a new outfit, we're gonna put it into the cards and 100 people will receive it. And I hope it will work money eventually as we grow with you on this channel, guys. And, uh, and the, in order to participate, all you need to do to be a subscriber, because we give it out to the subscribers, 100 of them. So good luck, guys, and let's hit that 10,000. It will become a reality once we hit the 10,000 subs. I believe in you. All right. So, so far, so good. He still has two shields. Oh, talent flame. Okay, so as long as we can get... I should have shown the shadow ball, by the way, but it doesn't matter because they're going to shield. There's no way he's there not shielding here. So this is... Yeah, they can't afford not to shield. They had two shields. There was no way they're not shielding. So I guess it wasn't, didn't matter. Now we can come back in with our Cordelia. We can tank anything he throws at us. Anything. Anything whatsoever. Beautiful flame charge. And then now we're going to shield the second one because it's probably going to be a Brave Bird now. So we're going to shield this one. Uh, because we need, and yeah, Brave Bird, beautiful. Now he's going to swap out. Yep. And comes back in with Vigorot. I tried to swap out that didn't work, but this is fine because we resist everything he throws at us. That was absolutely nothing. So now we make sure we farmed up extra energy and now we swap out because we need energy advantage to the Talon Flame uh, in case he keeps the shield for it. So now the goal is is that we need to get super low so he can farm... Oh my god, I just messed this up. I should have just went for the f home. I'm an idiot. Don't do this, guys. All I had to do is let him farm me down and we win. That's all I had to do. I let him farm me down and we win. Or I farm low as I can and he would have thrown and got rid of me. Or just get super low and then don't do anything and then swap in because he won that. We gave away that match. I'm a paid actor. Sorry, guys. Dude, that was annoying. That was a win. Okay, chubby. Okay, chubby is the opponent's name, right? But anyways, so we messed up. Look how many Vigorots there are. I think every single team had a Vigorot on so far. So right now, what we're doing again, we are staying in with Nine Tails. Nine Tails does really well, but you want to keep your Nine Tails alive Be uh, for for what you because you never know what's in the bag. There are lots of goons and everything around, you know, and Dark's still around. Uh, so yeah, you never know. When I'm in Dark's, I'm. I really mean good, by the way, just so you guys know. <laughs> okay, so... Beautiful. Beautiful. So Ninetales, okay. Altar, ooh. This is really good for us. So we're gonna Ice Beam. Ice Beam, boy. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Boom, sh oh, he shields. Okay, I have... What, why is it Altaria shielding? And why is he staying with Altaria? Is, if he's double shielding this Altaria, He's 100% weak to Argelison in the back, and he's already weak to Argelison with the Altaria. So if he double shields, we must swap out here. Okay, we just need to swap. We, okay, good. Yeah, and we can tank whatever throws at us. But yeah, 100%, whatever is in the back is super weak to our... Uh, um, um, what is that? Talon Flame, it's a double fire. Uh, this is what we want to see. Watch this, guys. This is what we live for. Watch this. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? Okay. <laughs> Talon Flame, out. All right, all right, now, where are you going? Mm. I hate this. He's playing with this crap team and he quits on us. So we can't even have the benefit of Stone Edging both of those Pokemon and feel good about ourselves when he's playing with this crap. Mm. All right, I'm gonna calm down. Guys, what do you think about those teams? I really enjoy playing with this team. I hope you enjoyed it too. I'm out, please come back for more and have a happy, happy new year.